the sparks of black do not choose who to bless. In Jujutsu Kaisen, there are many techniques and abilities to name from, ranging from things like the Limitless Curse technique, to Toto's Boogie Woogie, even Sukuna with Cleave and Dismantle, all of which I just named are curse techniques and unique to the user. However, one technique or ability that everyone with cursed energy can use is Black Flash. Hitting a Black Flash gives the user insane amps with a very deep understanding of cursed energy, and in today's video, we're going to be going over and breaking down Black Flash. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a second and ask everyone watching if you can like the video, comment some video ideas for me to cover in the future, and subscribe if you want to see more Jujutsu Kaisen videos. First, we need to understand exactly what Black Flash is and how it's applied. In Chapter 48, we learn that Black Flash is what happens when the impact of cursed energy is applied at the same time of a physical hit, and when this happens, a distortion in space is born. The impact is equal to a normal hit to the 2.5 power, and there is not a single Jujutsu sorcerer who can use it at will. The narrator that further states that those who have experienced Black Flash as compared to those who haven't, their understanding of the essence of cursed energy is immeasurable. When an impact of cursed energy is applied at the same time as a physical hit, space is distorted and cursed energy flashes black, and we then see Yuji hit a Black Flash on Hanami. Once this happens, Yuji is almost an entirely different fighter. He went from not even being able to use cursed energy not too long ago before hitting Black Flash, and now he's on an entirely different level even when it comes to his understanding of cursed energy. Toto even directly directly states this and compares it to Yuji putting ingredients he's not familiar with into a pot and just cooking unknowingly. But with Black Flash, he's gained the ingredient that is cursed energy and Toto says that as a Jujutsu sorcerer, Yuji's on an entirely different level than he was just seconds ago. Yuji who a few moments ago couldn't even use cursed energy is now fighting alongside a grade 1 sorcerer in Toto who's above any other Jujutsu high students and is even able to damage Hanami who's the most durable of the disaster curses. Keep in mind, this is the first time we see Black Black Flash and just off first showings, we see that's definitely a huge amp for the sorcerer. In chapter 50, we learn that the record holder for most Black Flashes is Nanami. We then see a conversation Nanami had with Yuji and Nanami says that it doesn't matter if it was by luck or by skill, when a sorcerer successfully uses Black Flash, they enter an in the zone state similar to what athletes experience when playing sports. For anyone that has ever played sports like basketball for example, I'm sure there has been times when you're playing and you're just so hyper focused on the game that it feels like every everything is making sense. Your shot feels right, the way you dribble and etc. That's basically what happens to Jujutsu sorcerers with cursed energy once they hit a black flash. Nanami continues to say it's like feeling that you're the center that everything else revolves around. He says that his record of consecutive black flashes is 4 and that he was lucky and once we get out of Yuji's flashback and into present day, Yuji proceeds to hit 4 black flashes on Hanami, tying Nanami for most consecutive black flashes. It's after this that Hanami says it's never been damaged so much before and after as I said, this is the most durable disaster curse being damaged by Yuji, who not too long ago couldn't even use cursed energy, especially not to an efficient degree. Yuji also wasn't even able to damage Hanami before hitting Black Flash, but after hitting 5 total and 4 consecutively, Hanami says it's never taken so much damage, so we understand that Black Flash gives the sorcerer a huge amp and power, but let's talk about the mental aspect of hitting Black Flash. Understanding the core of cursed energy. As Nanami said, hitting a Black Flash puts the sorcerer in an in the zone type of state and it feels as if everything revolves around you. This is the mental amp of hitting Black Flash, understanding the core of cursed energy. Sorcerers that have this understanding are able to use their abilities in ways that they never have, while also just having a straight up amp to their stats. Some of the best examples of this are Mahito and of course Satoru Gojo. After taking out Nobara, Yuji is of course crushed by this and his resolve continues to weaken and is even at his limit. This however fires Mahito up as Mahito says, I find my talent to be so exhilarating yes I am a true curse right before hitting his first black flash on Yuji after this Mahito continues to beat up Yuji and almost kills him but Toto interferes stepping into the fight in order to save Yuji Mahito and Toto starts fighting and Mahito can't get a hit on Toto due to boogie woogie but Mahito tells himself that he'll get it right and that he wants to hit another black flash he says he wants to find the true essence of his soul and that he's so close he can feel it however Yuji comes in and hits a black flash on Mahito Yuji and Toto start jumping Mahito now and due to Toto feeling left behind, being the only one in the fight to not hit a black flash yet, he hits a black flash on Mahito but it doesn't do anything to him since Toto can't hit Mahito's soul. It's after this that the narrator says but now all three have brought out 120% of their potential. Mahito starts to kick it up a notch and even Toto starts to question how much fight does Mahito have in reserve. After using soul multiplicity body repel to attack from all sides in order to stop Toto from switching places, Mahito can now use his soul multiplicity to make transfigure 
infected humans grade to a 3 level and sends out 3 of them in total to hold off Toto while he deals with Yuji. It's after this that Mahito feels as if he's being backed into a corner. He says it'll be hard landing a hit on Toto due to all of the switching so he thinks about using domain expansion but he says if he does then he'll be killed by Sakuna. So what to do? It's after this that Mahito says he learned this from that guy referring to Satoru Gojo and opens up an all or nothing domain expansion of 0.2 seconds. Mahito due to hitting Black Flash coupled with his mindset of constantly trying to reach greater heights and a deeper understanding of himself was able to copy something we've only seen by the strongest Jujutsu Sorcerer of the modern era and opens up an insanely fast domain that successfully transfigures Toto's hand. After this Mahito hits yet another Black Flash on Toto but it doesn't finish him off due to idle transfiguration since after using the domain expansion the user's innate technique gets temporarily disabled and uncontrollable. Mahito says that Toto was a pain to deal with but now he's finally found it, the true essence of his soul, its true form. We then see Mahito transform almost into something completely different than before and tells Yuji to wish him a happy birthday. Due to hitting Black Flash, Mahito was able to use Idol Transfiguration like never before and was even able to find and understand his true unbridled soul. As Toto said when Yuji hit his first Black Flash on Hanami, Yuji was on a completely different level than he was a few seconds before hitting Black Flash and Mahito after hitting Black Flash was not only on a different level but almost a completely different person. That should speak volumes to how much of an and Black Flash is. When Satoru Gojo is fighting Ryom and Sukuna, Gojo is able to land a Black Flash on Sukuna and manage to knock out the King of Curses. Sukuna manages to save himself by summoning Maharaga then later summons Agito who Gojo also manages to hit a Black Flash on. The narrator then says the second Black Flash and Gojo's voltage starts to ramp up as we see Gojo heal the arm that got sliced by Maharaga showing that Black Flash is helping Gojo regain his lost output for reverse curse technique. It's after this that we start to see some of the coolest and outright mind blowing displays of mastery over one's curse technique from Satoru Gojo. After hitting two more black flashes on Maharaga, Gojo starts his chant for red which Sukuna plans to have Maharaga tank and adapt to in order to be safe. However, Gojo shoots his red in the sky and Sukuna realizes that Gojo is preparing to use red and blue to make purple externally. Sukuna tells Maharaga to go after blue since it's already adapted to it before taking red but Gojo uses his high speed movement with blue to teleport in front of Maharaga to stop the Shikigami from interfering with blue. Before red and blue can collide, Sukuna uses piercing blood in order to trigger red and make it explode. However, Gojo starts his chant for blue before Sukuna's piercing blood can collide with blue, causing blue to swallow piercing blood. Gojo then starts chanting for purple as blue and red are making their way to each other and once they collide Gojo says hollow purple as a massive explosion cuts through Shinjuku severely damaging Sukuna and taking out Maharaga in the process. Although it would make sense for Gojo to be able to mix blue and red externally to make purple since the way Gojo usually makes purple is by mixing red and blue but internally however we've never seen him do it until this fight of course so there was no way to tell and Gojo probably didn't even know he can do it that way until hitting black flash. So as I said earlier, hitting black flash makes the user stronger but along with being stronger you gain a deeper understanding of cursed energy so much so that Nanami equates the thought process to manipulate cursed energy becomes like breathing. Now you might be thinking if black flash gives such an immense boost and a deep understanding of cursed energy then why do we only see very few people use black flash in this series? This is because like I said earlier it's extremely hard to do to the point where you basically have to get lucky. The narrator says that Black Flash happens when cursed energy is applied within 0.0000001 seconds of a physical hit or to keep it simple, a sorcerer has to apply his or her cursed energy within the microsecond of a physical hit connecting with their opponent. So it's basically impossible to do at will, however if done successfully, the user is essentially blessed for it with an immense buff and strength along with understanding of cursed energy, so much so that manipulating cursed energy becomes second nature like how breathing is second nature and needs very little little or no thought process in order to manage. The only person even close to seemingly use Black Flash on command is Yuji Tadori, the man blessed by the sparks of black, but that will be a topic for another time.